Hello, my name is Christine. I'm an interior designer. Today I'll be sharing my budget-friendly dining room makeover. When we first moved in, we were so excited to host our friends and family, we bought a table to fit 10. However, it was simply too big for our space, so after a few years, we downsized to a table of four. I'll be using this wall as the feature wall to anchor the dining area. I'll be updating the kitchen island, creating a photo ledge, and painting a pop of green. The concept is a cozy cafe restaurant. Let's start with the photo ledge. I made a simple photo ledge by screwing two pieces of wood together, then screwing it into the wall. I installed an IKEA cabinet to maximize storage and clean up the backdrop to the dining area. I'm using an MDF panel to finish the back side of the cabinet. I used heavy duty glue instead of nails. leftover trim from my bedroom makeover video and use spackle to blend in the pieces together. I know it looks a little rough, but trust me, it'll look better. Once it dried, I sanded it down to create a smooth, level surface. After the paint dries, it all looks like one piece. Next, wallpaper. I do a dry fit and cut to size first. Use a clean brush to apply wallpaper adhesive and gently press on the paper. The glue doesn't dry instantly, so you can adjust wrinkles like this as needed. My new dining table is from IKEA. It seats four and can extend to seat six. The mechanism is very easy to use by yourself and it's self-contained so it also saves space. The chairs are from Facebook Marketplace, $25 each. A great deal for solid wood chairs. The new seat cushions are from IKEA. I keep extra stools in the entry to put our shoes on. When guests come over, I use them as extra seats.
After a lot of debating, I decided to paint the bottom half Benjamin Moore's HC123. I like that it brings extra depth while still having a subtle quality to it. I like to keep decor simple. I found this piece at a thrift store. This one is from an antique store near our favorite winery. And I painted the little one myself. The frame I bought at a thrift store. This morning I so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon and the far In the evening it's fun to have Ex dinner and wine at home were two for a penny. Bottoms up! But they've all gone out it feels like I'm dining out at a little small. hidden restaurant And when I feel the wind on my face In the morning, the dining area is filled with sun and I can appreciate all the little details. The space transforms to a local cafe where I can read and enjoy a quiet morning. Working on DIY projects is my escape where I don't need to think of anything complicated and I'm free to be creative and build things with my own hands. If you've ever been curious of trying little projects of your own, I really encourage you. The next project I'll be sharing is my DIY kitchen renovation. I can't wait to share that with you all. Thank you for watching.